welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am from thefarmgirlgabs.com and today I am taking it back to basics. I'm going to demonstrate how I cut up a pineapple, which is actually one of my favorite fruits. Um, a lot of people are intimidated by cutting them up because they are kind of large and cumbersome and funny shaped, but it's really, really easy and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, there are a few things that you will need though in order to um, follow along with me. Uh, first thing, you're gonna need a pineapple. Um, when you're choosing a pineapple, the golden, the more golden, the more riper it is. Um, so that's a good tip for you when you're heading out to your local grocery store or farmer's market. Um, you could tell how ripe they are by their color. So golden is better, more yellow is definitely um, riper. You're going to need a cutting board. Um, any cutting board will do. I like this larger size because um, this is pretty long and when you lay it on the side, um, it'll take up most of the board. So bigger is better, but if you don't have that, um, any size cutting board you can work with. Uh, you're going to need a good knife. I like to use the Santuco style knife. Um, a chef's knife will work as well. And then you're going to need a couple bowls. You're gonna need um, a bowl for your um, garbage or compost if you compost, and then you're gonna need the bowl to put the um, pineapple pieces in. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to lay the pineapple down on its side and out of the way. You're going to cut off the top of the pineapple. So you'll have that. We're gonna put that right in our garbage bowl here or our compost bowl because uh, we won't be needing that. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. You're gonna cut off the end, put that in the garbage bowl or compost bowl. And then from here, we're going to angle your knife and then you're gonna gently, carefully, so you don't hurt yourself, <laughs> cut off the outer layer of the pineapple. There you go, and you wanna make sure that you get all of the, um, the black or the brown part of the skin off. And then you're just gonna keep working yourself all the way around the pineapple. Um, there we go. One. And then you can go around and clean up if you need it. Like I, as you can see, I missed a little bit on the bottom here, so I'm just gonna go um, around and cut some of that off. All right, now from there, or from here, I should say, I'm going to lay the pineapple on its side. See that? All right, so I'm gonna lay the pineapple on its side and I'm going to cut it in half. Now just be careful. Sometimes the core is a little tough. And tuck your fingers in when you're cutting so you don't mop off any fingers. All right, and then from here, you got two halves now. You're gonna cut it in half again. Again, tuck your fingers in so you don't hurt it. So you're gonna have four quarters, which makes a dollar. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're gonna remove the core on each of these. So what I like to do, you could lay it on its side and you can, I'm gonna show you two different ways. You can lay it on its side and you can cut down like this. Or, and then this part is the tough core that goes in, that goes right down the center. So then again, that goes in your compost bowl. And then from here, I just make, I cut it into usually three, three pieces. And then from there, I just make slices or dices. And that's it. And they're about that size. Now, if you 
Um, definitely you can make any shape you want. I'm gonna put this in my, my bowl here. All right, and then let me just show you another way you can um, get the core out as well. I just like to, whoop, on its side. So you have one quarter of the pineapple and then you're just gonna slice right down the center. There you go, that's the core. Put it in your compost bowl and then you can just begin to make your slices. These actually have to go in here too because they're a little bit of the skin. And then um, from here, um, if they don't disappear because um, we love pineapple in my family, so I buy a lot and we eat them as quick as I cut them. But from here, you can, um, you can you make smoothies with this. Um, you can use them in whatever recipe you have. Um, I do have a few on my site, which I will link below. Um, I have a delicious, uh, pineapple salsa, which is one of my, actually my most popular recipes on the blog. Um, it's perfect for any time of the year, but it's really delicious in the summer months when um, fresh tomatoes are in season. But please, if you uh, want to make it in the winter, by all means make it because it is absolutely delicious. It's got that sweet and spicy kick to it. Um, and I also have a delicious uh, Dole Whip smoothie recipe that um, I will also link, and uh, Dole Whip Popsicle. So um, if you're a Disney fan, you probably have heard of the famous Dole Whip. And um, so yeah, so that's how easy it is to cut up a pineapple. There you go, that's what it looks like. This will probably be all gone within the hour once my husband and my son get home. Um, but. Don't be intimidated by it, just take your time. If you have the right utensils, you can cut it up in a matter of no time flat. So thanks for following along. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button below so you can get instant notifications of when I post new videos here on my site. Again, my name is Melissa and you can follow me at thefarmgirlgabs.com. And until next time, Eat some pineapple.